Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through um, sort of a show and tell of days 30 through 50 of the 100 day project. I'm gonna show you my favorites cause that's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of papers. So I'm just gonna show you my favorites. And at random, this is day 37. Uh, this was done with uh, newsprint. Uh, I had a big piece of newsprint that I had worked on and um, cut it up. And then I was able to then add more layers to it. And the tea bag is right here. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. And day 38, um, this was done on, this is construction paper. Again, I did a large piece and then I just cut it and then I added some paper collage to it and then the tea bags you can see are here. This one was also part of that newsprint piece that I did. Um, I don't think that's the part that goes there, but this was just like I said, one really large piece that I cut. Oops, and this one is day 39 and this one has some extra pieces of collage added. Tea bags are here and a little bit there. I just really love how that one turned out. Then I kind of made a departure and started working in a sketchbook, a very large sketchbook with pastels and watercolor. And I really love the crinkly nature of it and the messiness of it. Um, the tea bag is here. And then I have um, a piece of tea bag right underneath here and then a little bit right here. And so I just added some paper collage to it after I started working on it. Really, really enjoyed that. This one is on, uh, this is construction paper. And then another piece, maybe this is the part that I was gonna say you might recognize, maybe not. These little bits of these leaves came from the same newsprint. So I cut that out and it glued it on. And then there's a tea bag here. So again, um, started out with a base, cut it, and then layered pieces on it. And then I came back to the sketchbook again and this one, I really didn't know <laughs> kind of how it was going to turn out. And as I was working and then I layer, layered some papers on, I realized that this just sort of t evolved into looking like a, a pot or a vase. And it was not intentional. It was just really just kind of working on this one. And I love the variety of the colors in that too. So that was also in a sketchbook. And this one as well. Just use this inexpensive sketchbook to create these with watercolor, pastels, pencils, and then you can see the tea bag portion here, collage, there's some paper collage in this too. And I really started enjoying working this way. So there's gonna be a whole lot more of these in the, in the next 50 days, I'm sure. And then uh, this one as well. This one was more abstract, not really done with a lot of flowers. And then um, you can see some of the, there's a tea bag, some paper collage in this as well, a little bit of paper collage up here. And then also down here. And I just love the idea of some of these, just even if, you know, bits and segments of them just really make me happy. And um, oh, I didn't tell you the dates on those. This is 49. And this one was done with construction paper. And the tea bag is here, and there's a little bit of a tea bag up there, and then some more paper collage on that too. And this was again a piece of paper. I cut it after I started doing the background on it. And this one, I love this one too, construction paper. This was from that piece of newsprint I mentioned earlier. You can see that that those consistencies with the leaves, and then some more paper collage. Tea bag here, tea bag up here. And so that was day 50. So those were my favorites from the project from 30 to day 50. Now what I wanna do is <laughs> I like to come back to these and say, all right, which one would I like to then now use in another project? But these are all my favorites, so it's gonna be really hard for me to decide uh, which one I want to, yikes, that I wanna cut up and use, and it might end up being this one. So I'm going to kind of consider that. And then in the next part of the video, I'm going to do something with one of these papers or maybe this one. Actually, this one might work because this one is, I don't know, I haven't decided. So anyway, in the next part of the video, I will take one of these and we'll make something new with it. So you can get an idea of what you can do with these papers that you create. And if you haven't checked out the other videos, um, I have other videos from days one through, would that be 29? 
with some other projects too. All right, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next part of the video. I've decided to use day 49 for this new piece. And I'm basically just going to do a collage paper. Um, this is in my sketchbook, so I'm just going to work in the sketchbook. This page just happens to have some ink already on it. And I'm going to use some watercolors. And I'm just going to use a, a bunch of different mediums. I'm going to use watercolor. I'm going to use some pastels. Uh, I'm going to use Stabilo uh, pencils, the Stabilo woodies. I got watercolor pencils, charcoal pencils. I've got a host of different things. I'm also going to use some coffee and some other watercolors. I'm just going to kind of put a base on this and kind of start working on it. And then I'll come back and I will slow the video down a little bit and we'll kind of work some more on this to finish it off. But I am going to be just sort of speeding this up a little bit and then adding in the elements that I want to add in.
Now at this point, uh, now that I've got a base down, I'll take a look at my collage that I'm going to cut and decide where I wanna put it. I'm not crazy about this spot here. I'm not really sure about this spot here. So I like this, I like this little corner, I like this part up here. So what I'm gonna do first is decide, do I wanna use this whole piece? Do I wanna cut part of it? And just off the top of my head, just by glancing at this, I'm thinking I'm gonna tear this part off. And then maybe this part here, I'm not sure. Um, I think we're gonna cut a circle out of this. And I really do like this black portion, so maybe, maybe the circle is here. Kind of a wonky circle, right? I don't even know if that's a circle. And what's cool is that I'll be left with, that's a terrible circle. I'll be left with some uh, area that I can then use for something else. So let's let's just do it blind and see what happens. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut a circle. You could punch a circle but all right, with a, a punch, but I want this to look sort of random and not perfect. And it's a terrible circle, but that's okay. <laughs> and, uh, but it, it gives you the idea of kind of what I'm going for. And I'm not even sure that, I'm not sure I like, I really didn't like this gray part here, but I could paint over that. And this might be too big. So I might need to even cut a part of this off too. So let's do that. Let's cut this piece. And then look at that yummy piece that we have to work with. And so I really liked that part, but that's okay. It's not, I might could still use it on there, but okay. So I was kind of not happy with that, but I liked this. So perhaps I could place it here, which would then allow me to still be able to see a portion of this. And I can even draw in another leaf if I want to. Oops, wrong color. I really wanted to stick with that green in there. So let's see, Ooh, too much water, too much water. Let's kind of blend that a little bit. Mm, let's put in a little, this is a baby wipe. I just use the baby wipe to kind of wipe stuff off. Totally not going for perfect here. All right, so I think Maybe right about there might be where I end up putting that. You can already see how it completely changes it. I'm still not crazy about this spot here, but that's all right. I just keep looking at it. I can always put another piece down, but I think what I wanna do is just touch up these areas and then we'll glue this down. And then once that's in place, I can then add any other bits that I want. But I'm thinking, I mean, that's how fast it is to just do a really cool collage. And I say collage because, I mean, I kind of use that loosely, but it's got paper, so it's collage, right? Uh, all right, this is just a pen. I want to make these lines just a little bit more um, scratchy. And then even over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. I'm gonna go ahead and use a glue stick for this. I really love the process of taking something I've already created and kind of breaking it down and creating something else with it. And I really like this idea because then it opens this up, makes it look like a window and changes it completely. Now I'm not really sure about this piece here. So I'm just gonna be bold and I'm gonna come in with some gesso. If I don't like it, I cover it and I can always go back in and play with it again. Not really crazy about that spot right there. I'm gonna add some more coffee here. 
maybe right about there. Maybe a little right there. This is a bamboo reed pen and it makes a great scooper. <laughs> it's funny how we do that, right? We use all our supplies in unusual ways. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of water from a spray bottle here. And I'm glad I covered that part up. I like just a little bit of that leaf peeking through there, but not the whole way down. And so this will kind of make your eye go that direction. And then I still have, you know, some more areas here that I can do some marks and some scribbles in with my pencils. I covered a little bit of that up too, but I, I'm kind of okay with that. We'll add in a little bit of green here. Um, I might still bring this, I think it was just a little too smudged, I guess, from the gesso. That looks a little bit better. A little bit of that in there. And let's add a little watercolor. Let's pick a green that kind of makes a nice complement to that. But I gotta be careful, I don't wanna to put too much water in here. Yeah, that doesn't look bad, I like that. Let me dab just a little bit of that. This is very inexpensive paper, so it, it's not watercolor paper. So it does not take the same as if you were working with a watercolor paper. But that's what I like about it. I like that it's not perfect and that it's messy and it makes the paper buckle and wrinkle. And I can dab off if I want to, and I like that. And this is pretty messy. So now I'm just looking at it, it just needs to dry, but I think that, I think it's almost done. I might go in and maybe do maybe a few more little messy marks here. And when I do that, I actually like to come in with the brush and just kind of smudge it a little so it's not, it doesn't remain perfect. You can see how it blends. Let's add a little more here and there. I like that bright pink down the side. Maybe dab that a little bit. And let's see, I really like this green so let's see I might Let me go in there with that let's use a smaller tipped brush it's very messy it's very wet okay all right looking good I like it I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot more with this um, maybe a little I think we need some dark down here. There was a little bit of blue in that, but I didn't quite like it. Now I like that better. So that's how it is, guys. That's how I kind of do it. Just kind of a mess. But once this dries, I'll have a whole brand new piece that um, didn't take long to make. It was fun. It's a great way to experiment with your supplies. And I didn't even use acrylic. I just used pastels, watercolor, gesso, and some coffee. And the same when I did the collage originally. There's no acrylic at all. It's just those. And then, of course, I used um, the Stabilos and I used pencils. So you could have a pretty small and simple little travel pack with you. So that's it. I think I'm done with this. Um, hold on, one more thing I see. I think I wanna put something with the uh, the collage here. It, there's nothing that's really anchoring it. Like there's nothing on top of it. So what I could do is I could do something like, I could maybe come off of this a little bit like that. I could even pull a little bit of this, like this black might be coming off of this a little. I like that little bit right there. So there's ways that you can kind of, maybe the charcoal would be better. Like maybe pull this charcoal out here. See how that kind of pulls from the collage itself. And now it doesn't look like it's just a straight line. And maybe even do this. I think that's what I was going for right there. Yeah, kind of pull that color out there. Now, now it's done. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer. All right, I said I was done, but there we go. <laughs> okay, I wanted to soften that up. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching.